What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video, yeah? You guys just saw that switch? You know what that means. Today is the big day that we're going to be doing the towing test with my truck. Now I know there's been a lot of stipulations out there saying, why are you gonna build such a crazy, gaudy truck? You know, you lifted the truck, you put it on 40s, you've ruined its abilities to ever tow again, and well, either we're gonna prove you wrong today, or you're gonna catastrophically be proven right. And let me just take a quick second to give a shout out to Bolt Lock. If you guys don't have Bolt Locks, trailer pin locks on your trucks, you guys are sorely missing out. It is keyed to your actual truck ignition key. It makes it super simple so you're not scrambling to find your hitch pin, lock key, whatever. Now obviously to do a tow test, well, you need a trailer. And being that I don't have my trailer anymore, which used to be a 25 foot weekend warrior that actually used to live right here we're gonna head up to our good buddy eddie's house because well he's got the identical trailer to what i had but he's got it in the 32 foot length so you know we're not just hooking up some little trailer for this test guys we're gonna we're gonna find the biggest toy hauler that's bumper pull around that i could find and we're gonna tow with it so we're gonna jump in the old bbb build right now head on up to the mountains and go visit our buddy eddie so turning into eddie street here as you guys can see it's super narrow and you're coming off the of two lane you got a nice rock and a nice tree right there on the side of the road that you're turning into and being that when I pulled Eddie's trailer with this truck stock you have to get so close to that rock to make that turn and there's no denying the fact that this truck has a horrible turning radius now that it's lifted I think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna tow it out of here with Eddie's truck and then from there we'll switch it over to my truck that way we don't risk Eddie's trailer because well, you know it's not my trailer dude there's no way that's a shovel in your hand buddy no way you don't know how to use one of those. And of course, in typical Eddie fashion, there's always multiple Duramaxes lying around. Looks like Eddie's getting back on the Razor life. Let's go see if we can find him. Eduardo! Dude, what are you doing? I don't think I ever thought I would see you with a shovel in your hand. Let alone like properly using. Well, I didn't. I don't know if it was properly used, but. Well, neither do I, because I stepped on the part where you're supposed to step on it. And, and it didn't. It didn't turn on. Well, it kind of bent. I don't. I don't know if. Jeez, I, buddy, you need to lay off the churros there, bro. Yeah. Are you going back to the razor life, buddy? You know, I will. I will get into the razor. There, it's a nice. It's a nice car. Uh, but no, not doing it. Dude, they sit tall. They sit very tall. I did a comparison yesterday. Um, over on Eddie's Life? Yes, over on Eddie's Life. Link down in the description. Bam, right there. And I did a comparison of the four-seater Can-Am and a four-seater Polaris. They did a very, very good job. Very, very good job. It's like a full-blown navigation, display. I mean, it's got a lot of info on here. I don't here. know, man. It's starting to look like a GM truck, though. There's no push to start. There's no, like, yeah. what's up with all that? Can-Am's got all the creature comforts. Well, I mean, you know, Can-Am is, uh, all they really have is push to start, to be honest with you. Interior-wise, <laughs> they don't really have anything else but a uh, little display in there, and that's about it. Dude, I don't know how adults get in these things in the back. Like, this yeah. is for your kid. This is not. Why I, do they put suicide doors suicide, on everything? I yeah. don't get it. Yep, suicide It just doors. gets in the way. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can. Dude, like, what the? Well, that's for your head, dude. So when you hit the whoops and this thing bucks on you, you don't smash your head on the bar. Dude, you gotta like straddle the seat here in the front. Well, I mean. Oh yeah, dude. And then you can't see. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to ride in the back one of those things. Now Ryan wants to get into the uh, thrust number two over here. Here he goes. Get, give him a sec, guys, until he figures out how to open the door on this thing. <laughs> oh, this is big red handle over there. You go. Suicide. Suicide. I thought Can-Am did it better, you know? Yeah, Can-Am likes suicide too, I guess. Oh. Alright, well see, at least this you got... I mean, it feel like I'm laying down in this thing. Yeah, the, they, the seats are like laid back. But you you got a lot more room. But then you got this roll bar going across, and it looks like when people turn their trucks into pre-runners, and then they cage the crap out of the back, and then they throw their girlfriend in the back, and she has to like, look through like, a hole in the cage. Hold on! Yeah, look at the leg room on that thing. What about this bad boy right here? That is some serious leg room right oh. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That's my I think, suspicion. I think, oh, yeah. Fox 2.0s. Hey. Reservoir, triple bypass, everything. Watch yourself. This is a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Chinese not understand, like, sound clips? <laughs> yeah, I know. When I hit that startup, too, I'm like, what is that? Oh. 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 Wait, even four wheel drive? I don't know. Is it? 
I'm in, I'm in high speed. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh. oh. Hold on. This turns like my truck. Yeah. You right. got a USB radio? Oh, yeah. You can hit the button, dude. You got music? Yeah. No, that's your LED lights. That's your horn. That's your train horn. It's like I broke it though. Oh, oh, it goes backwards. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie Jr. Now, can we get to the... Oh, I'll go around and send you a new one for Christmas. Guys, okay, so in talking with Eddie, you know, Eddie's actually been one of the people... Let me stand, let me stand this way out of the sun. That's the most worried about this, which is weird to me, because Eddie, he geeks out on facts and stats and numbers and all that on vehicles. So to me, I would think, well, Eddie, of course you know, like this thing's gonna tow, no problem. But Eddie I, I is- I just, I don't know about the ultimate air ride kit. So I have not researched, I have not studied it. You know, I have not looked into it. So I don't know, you know, power wise, this is there, no problem. I give it, not without a doubt, it will pull it. But, you know, how's the ride gonna be? And I noticed you put the mud terrains back on, the Toyo, so. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure it's yeah. A lot we, we, got, we got softer tires on. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is, I was just talking to Eddie, and Eddie's actually doing a video. I mean, you guys can see Eddie's got his thing in there. And Eddie's gonna geek out on like gear ratios and all that stuff, uh, you know, for you guys that really wanna know the real numbers of that kind of thing. So make sure you guys go check out Eddie's channel. Obviously, that'll be down in the description. But I was telling Eddie, you know, what did you do to your truck to make it tow better? I put airbags. So, what did I do to make my truck tow better? I put airbags. He put airbags. He put the ultimate airbags. I put the ultimate air ride setup on the rear. It's a four linked air ride setup in the rear. And if, you know, you guys look at any big rig, any semi, any dump truck, any concrete truck, any of that stuff, what do they all have in the rear? They're all running giant airbags. Massive airbags. So, these aren't just little pet boys airbags that are on this no. truck. They are massive airbags. They should be able to handle plenty of weight. I, I don't see why anybody's worried, to be honest with you. To me, this should be no big deal. It's going to hook up. It's going to tow just fine. You know, I mean, what could go wrong? It's only a 32-foot toy hauler that weighs a ton. Buddy. Well, 34-foot toy hauler that weighs yeah. a ton. Yep. But, and we got the Can-Am in there. So we oh, we do got the Can-Am in there? Can -Am oh! In there. Yeah. All right. Can-Am is in there. Uh, hopefully, I strapped that. I believe I did. You know, we could have done some, some half-rate tests with a little... I'm sure Eddie's probably got... I mean, there's a enclosed trailer back there that probably weighs a lot less than a toy hauler. There's a dump trailer down there that empty weighs a lot less than a toy hauler, but to me, if we're gonna do a test with it, let's tow something real, let's tow something big, and let's tow something heavy. And well, obviously, Eddie's toy hauler here, is, it, it fits all the bills of that. Ever since I saw Kelderman post a video of their truck lifting a trailer with just the airbags, I was completely sold and in love with an adjustable rear air ride setup like that. That being said, this truck's got auto level, it's got everything built in so really if we were to put the weight of the trailer on without actually picking it up the truck should automatically level itself back out without me touching anything but in the effort of really wanting to see if the truck can pick up the trailer what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna play with the level the first time all right come on back come on 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 good all right well Alright, I think, can I just get the ultimate air ride in the rear? I think uh, I'm gonna... I, I think you need ultimate air ride. Buddy. Yeah, that, that is... Uh, badass. That is badass. That picked it up like no problem. Nope. Nothing. I mean... That if I am going to invest the money in this ultimate air ride kit, you know, I want to make sure it's actually usable, ultimate air ride, and it actually works and good for towing. Now, it picked it up. I'll give it that. Um, you know, it's his truck is leveled. He hit level. It leveled it out. It looks good. But now let's see how this thing tows and how the ride is. If it's a smooth ride, if it's we're sitting here bouncing or, you know, because you got no leaf springs. It's just air in the back. Don't need Strictly them. air. Strict well, we got shocks. You got shocks. We got air and we got shocks. Now, when I had my 25-foot toy hauler, which I think tongue to back of trailer was 30-foot 
Plus, I would tow it with the Kodiak. I used to tow it with my gas truck, gave up on that. It wasn't worth it. So towing it with a Kodiak, we were a very long setup. The Kodiak's got a 12-foot flatbed on it, plus it's a crew cab Kodiak. It was, it was a long setup, so it was, I, I'd say, significantly longer than the setup we're running right now. I don't know, Carlos, but I hate to say this, buddy, but no sag. <laughs> I mean, air ride is definitely I the think, way to go, guys. Yeah, I think Carlos should get rid of his... Uh, right, right. Carlos, it's time to pull off the cantilever kit. Let's get you an ultimate air ride setup. I Eddie, mean, he, Eddie. Does, he does look he look good when he articulates, but if he's going to tow, I know... Well, that know, guy tows a ton with that truck. Yeah, I know Carlos does a lot of towing, and I mean, what I just saw... I mean, you guys obviously saw it, too. Well, wow. let's just put it this way. Eddie right now is asking me pricing on it because I think yeah. we, might, we might have Eddie hooked on this setup. Yeah, that was badass. Your truck won't pick it up, right? No, hell no. No, your airbag no, my air My airbag is, all it does, my airbags, and, and I'm not saying, you know, they're no good, but for what this did, uh, my bags won't even do it. They're nowhere near the size. All mine do is just level the truck and prevent from... When you hit that bounce, the truck continuing to bounce. Eddie really wants me to pull it out of here. The only problem I see with it is, listen, we can take like 20 attempts at it all day. It is a really tight street to, tear, you know, to turn out of. And it's not like, I don't have towing experience. I don't know what I'm doing. I've told, well, it's not I've, about, yeah, that. It's I've told this trailer it's off of the street with my truck stuck. This truck just has zero turning radius. And the problem is we're turning onto a street that kind of has a little blind hill in it and can be busy. And so if we're stuck in the middle of this street, like doing a 45 point turn with a trailer, like, it could be bad, but. Well, this is what I think. We're gonna try to get out. If we see that, you know, there's no way we gotta sit and do a 45 point turn, we'll back up. Oh shit, you're gonna have to back up. <laughs> there's no, yeah, so that's the other thing. It's yeah. a single lane road out here. It's not like we can just drop the trailer and walk truck. We're gonna have to back all the way back into Eddie's driveway about a, what, a quarter mile, I would yeah. say? All right, well, screw it. It makes a good video. Let's just yeah, do it. Yeah, we're doing it for the fans. That's you know? it. The fan, I guarantee everybody out there is going to say, no, Ryan, try with your truck, try with the truck. <laughs> That's fair. We're going to do it. I don't we're know if you guys realize time. how much work goes into videos like this, especially like hooking the trailer, pulling trailer, doing pull tests, making laughs. It, uh, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. Luckily, Eddie's got a pretty easy setup in terms of getting his trailer. It's always here on his property versus some people. You got to go to storage, pull your trailer out do all that Eddie's got a real nice setup for that and he's generous enough to let us borrow his trailer for this test and possibly you know rip the whole side of his trailer off on a rock but you know what, right. what are you gonna do you, you know? know what yeah I mean we're doing it for you guys as well here goes nothing toe test of the BBB bill let's see what she is made of make sure we've got our trailer brakes all set up here So here's what we're dealing with just so you guys know we got to make this turn which eddie couldn't even make without a trailer when he drove my truck because he wasn't used to the turning radius yeah we got to make this turn don't hit this power line here but also don't clip the trailer on that tree or the rock and you've got about that much room to play with that and we got cars flying by yeah <laughs> yeah that's the scary part is so this is a blind kind of a blind spot right here guys because it yeah that's the auto level kicking in oh okay okay my bad my bad um, it's kind of blind right here, so cars come flying up this hill. We hear you. Calm down. They come flying up this hill, and well, if Ryan is stuck right here in the middle of the street, um, they're there. That's why I didn't want to do this. They're it's not like I don't think, you know, we could probably pull this turn off, but it's more so like I don't feel like a car plowing into the side of Eddie's trailer. I mean, I, I hope it's not my truck, but. I start that turn, start that turn.
it, it is ride. smooth. It's, yeah, it is smooth. absolutely smooth. I mean, obviously a lot of HD trucks, you know, they got leaf springs in the rear. They actually ride better when there's a load in them or when you're hooked up to a trailer. And the good thing about the setup that I have is it feels like it rides equally well, trailer or no trailer. And that's why, you know, the Ultimate Air Ride Kit is stupid expensive. And I originally didn't plan on spending that much, but I'm glad I did in feeling the fact that even with the trailer or no trailer, it feels like it rides essentially the same. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the freeway. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna be going down the grade. And if you guys remember that we did do this video once before when we were testing my stock truck versus Eddie's truck with the five inch lift kit. And that video will be right here if you guys wanna check that out. So we're gonna go down the grade. We're gonna test just the, the stability of it and as well as the stopping power the make sure you know all gearing and all that stuff that's going to be in eddie's video but i just want to make sure that this thing safely makes it down this grade without you having to stamp you know step all your weight on the brakes or things getting weird and let's just see you know does the track straight does the toe straight mind you we have no weight distribution bars and no stabilizer bars on right now we're just going raw test let's see what it does so so far so good i mean i'm letting the trailer brake engage right now and i'm letting that kind of carry us down the hill that way I'm not touching the brakes we're going about 53 miles an hour and are we, you on the brakes at all or? I'm not on the brakes at all that is strictly the exhaust brake doing its thing okay and it's keeping us at about we're slowing yeah. down to 50 I mean that's no hands on the wheel it's tracking straight uh, you know I, I will give it to this truck I mean it's pulling it's smooth a truck you know being this big on 40s you would think you know, wow, he's got a nice truck, but it's kind of useless because he can't pull anything. That's what everybody, you know, says about these trucks. Uh, well, this thing is, is pulling. So, so far we've been going down grade. Now we're about to get back on the freeway and we are going to come up the same grade. So about a three to 4% grade, if my math is correct. This thing tows and it tows good and it tows smooth. Um, you know, big apologies to Ryan. I didn't think it would do this good. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it, it was going to be much worse. We're climbing the grade. We're doing about 60, 65 and you know, that's not even with my foot all the way in it. That's just a comfortable speed. And this is in tow mode on the tune. If it were me, I would put it in street tune and just leave it there. I mean, why not? You know, you get a little more economical and the gearing's a little different or shift points, whatever it is. Something's a little different in the tow mode. Eddie knows more about that than I do. But to me, like, there's enough power. You know, we're going plenty safe of a speed and I'm comfortable. I'm having a good time. All right, Eddie, we're about to pull up another grade here. Think we can pass that semi? Oh yeah. All right, let's go for it. We just sign. saw a sign. We were wrong about the grade. Apparently this is a 6% grade that we've been going up and down here. We're on our way back now. We just came up the grade doing Eddie's gear test. And I mean, he'll come to some conclusions over there, but I gotta say, this old girl does not cease to impress me on what she can do on 40s, being 12 inch lifted, riding as smooth as she is riding, still having power to pass when we need to pass. You know, I gotta say, out of you, you old girl. So, so does this mean uh, we see D-Max Rhino and a toy hauler in a Can-Am uh -oh. later on maybe? All right, we know, we know the one. truck. Well, we know the truck can do it. I am trying to get Rhino 
out in the desert. I'm still trying. I've not failed. We're going to get him out there, especially now knowing that, him especially knowing that this truck has no issues pulling, um, especially with this Ultimate Air Ride. I think now he, he might pull the trigger. Maybe next season we'll think about it. Maybe next season. Well, we have successfully made it off the freeway here. We are just down the street from Eddie's house. Now, Eddie says pulling out of the street is one thing. Pulling back in is even tighter and more sketchy. So I guess we're gonna find out the hard way because we are committed. We're pulling up right now. All right, here he goes. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, you're getting it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ooh, so I think he's got about, you know, bad, probably a foot to spare. Man, this truck can do it all. You think you're gonna make the turn to flip this thing around in my driveway? Uh, trailer in the way over here. Yeah, I know. That's that's Mr. Outlet over there. He's coming in to get it out of my way, thank goodness. Undercharge and storage fees. Oh yeah, big storage fees. Nothing. Look at the difference. That's what Ford Loan's for. Alright, keep coming back, buddy. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Keep going. You got it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. I think you got it. Keep going. Keep going. He did it. Keep going. Yeah, buddy, like nothing. It's a high little 45-point turn, never hurt anybody. I'm surprised we actually got it. And just like that, successfully towed Eddie's trailer. I have to say, I am more and more impressed with this girl every single day. The BBB build so far has stood up to everything I've thrown at it and just really, you know, stood true to what I built it to be able to do. I built it to be a show truck. I built it to be a daily driver. I built it to be able to haul when I need to haul with it. Obviously, I baby it. I'm not taking it out in the mud. I'm not beating it up or any of that. But should I need to do whatever I gotta do, you know, she's willing and she's ready and she's built to be able to handle it. And before I get the comments, I can already hear them now. And it's from some uh, dude in the backwoods of uh, Alabama saying, well, you can't put a gooseneck or a fifth wheel in it. It ain't a real truck. You can't really tow. Well, I hate to break it to you, but out where we live, you know, most dump trucks, most guys hauling heavy equipment trailers with 30, 40,000 pounds on them. They're bumper pull pintle hitches. They're not pulling goosenecks. They're not pulling fifth wheels. But I'm sure I'm still gonna get the comments because, well, you can't please everybody. But this truck is more than capable to tow what I'm ever gonna throw at it. And you know, in all honesty, you could build a custom gooseneck trailer to be tall enough on the neck to reach over into this truck. And then at that point, it would be able to tow a gooseneck just fine. But with that, we're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, we try to put out entertaining content. We try to put out informative content. We try to just show you guys that you know, the stuff that you want to see. So if you have ideas for a video, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section now. Don't forget to check out Eddie's channel. Eddie's going to be doing a whole thing on the gears, on gearing, how the truck handled, and kind of get more into the tech side of things that you guys are going to want to see. So I'll make sure I'll put the link down to his channel down in the description. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. If nothing more, let's give it a like for the truck actually being able to do this. Yeah, doing what she was meant to do, you know. And also, don't forget to check out WorkForWardApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to. Work for it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. I'm out. Eddie, you want this one, buddy? Well, you know how we do it, guys. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.